forgetting those things which are behind. Uh -huh. Reaching forth unto those things which are before. Uh -huh. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. You got to understand what the word forgetting means. It means to lose out of mind. Yeah. <laughs> I got to say that again. The word forgetting means to lose out of mind. You got to, man, you got to, you got to let your mistakes of the past slip out of your mind uh -huh. so that when the devil, right. any enemy, any friend, any relative, right. any boss That's brings right. it back to you, you got to tell them that I forgot about That's that. That's right. Amen. Amen, Bishop. Come on, somebody. You literally got to trick your mind to, to, to say, man, I forgot about that. That wasn't even that. Was, who, who was that? <laughs> My God. The word forgetting is in the present active tense. I'm going to say it to you again. For those of you that are linguistic scholars, the word forgetting is in the present active tense. And what that means is whenever you find yourself in the present, you must forget the things of your past. So some of y'all, every day you got to forget it. Every time the devil tries to bring it back to your mind, you got to say, devil, I forgot about that. Come on, somebody. That means every day you must choose to forget. Uh huh. Forgetting is a choice. That's right. That's Come right. on, man. You can never move forward being tied to the mistakes That's of your right. past. That's right. Let me say this to you. That isn't a person that has ever stepped foot on planet Earth that didn't have some regrets about his or her past. That's right. That's right. I believe even Jesus, if he could tell you today, he would tell you, I wish I hadn't prayed to the Father. Mm -hmm. If it was possible, let this come pass for me. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Everybody got something they wish they could forget. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Y'all don't hear me. Am I talking to somebody yeah. here? Yeah. Or am I dealing with some folk that have never made a mistake in right. life? Right. In order to dream again, you must forget. Uh huh. I'm going to say that again. Uh -huh. In order to dream again, you must forget the memories that remind you of your past mistakes. Some of y'all got people who remind you of your past mistakes. You gotta forget about them. Amen. Come on. Come on. I got some folks out cut and they wonder why I can't they I, they wonder why they can't get back in. Right. Brother, I forgot about uh -huh. you. Uh-huh. Yeah. In my mind you don't exist. Right, right. Right. Some of y'all don't some of y'all don't want to see your dreams come come to fruition bad enough. But man, my dreams are so important to me, I'll drop you like a hot potato. To let, to, you know, to, to allow God to do through me what he wants to do. Come on. That's nobody, that's nobody important enough to rob you of your dream. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking to somebody. Yes. Here. You got to forget about the places that remind you of your past mistakes. Uh-huh. The things that remind you of your past mistakes. What to talk to you. You know, everybody. Let me say this to you. Everybody has made some mistakes. Right, right. I don't care how anointed they are. That's right, that's right. How powerful they are. Uh -huh. How articulate they are. Right, right. How successful they are. It, it, that's just the way it is with uh -huh. human beings. Right, right. Human beings mess up. That's right. I got to say that again. <laughs> human beings mess up. Yeah. But human beings don't have to keep messing up. There comes a point in time when you got to say, hey, man, my dreams are on, uh, at stake today. I got to get myself together because I got to go somewhere in God. Give God a 